Hey guys, this is Ed from Mission Ed Possible, and with me I have Wyatt. Welcome to Retrograde, where we rank Atari 2600 games. This week is Xanox, Comavid, and Zellers. Uh, we did quite a few games this time, uh, but we actually made it through in two hours, so it was kind of impressive. So mm. I'm going to go this time, because I always have you go. Okay, then, yeah, then go I'm for always it. copying you. So sure, figure, sure. Now it's your turn to copy. Sure. Okay. So now a couple of these is kind of weird, because the Xanax ones, a lot of them, I think... Oh, Almost they were all of them were the double enders. Sure. So the box art is a little weird. Like the for the first two, it's artillery duel and Chuck Norris super kick. So that's fine. Um, so first will be artillery duel. Um, so I thought it was it was neat. Uh, we've seen it before though, and that was kind of the. I guess it was. I think the biggest one was the human cannibal, where you have yeah, to direct it. A, but, a little different, but yeah. not deeply different. The only yeah. difference is you're trying to hit. The other person instead yeah. of the spot. Yeah. So it's not I thought I thought materially it was the same. I want to no. say it was better though. So um for me, uh, I feel like it didn't have much in the way of depth. Uh just trying to shoot the other person and it was really slow. Remarkably the, the slow. Ball, bullets coming down. So thankfully on emulation, we had the ability to We could speed to, it up, yeah. but if not, oh that would yeah. be so I'm gonna give it a C. I thought it was it was decent. Um, not one I think I would want to go back to. I, it's just so slow. Yeah, this yeah. is one I will copy it for because it is way too slow. It, it, it became just such a waiting game, especially if you undershot it, it was way better than if you overshot it. Yeah, because if you going. overshot it, <laughs> it would go forever. Mm -hmm. uh, the only cool things I will say, when you shot straight up or really high, it would get quieter the, mm -hmm. the firewood and mm -hmm. it's kind of a neat detail but what else is there you're right. just shooting at each other slowly over time if the if it had like even just 50 percent more speed on those bullets yeah it would have been a, a b or something it'd I be think. funny if there was a bird flying by you could hit or something <laughs> yeah just something, something else, else going on yes it's yeah. just kind of dull as it is yeah Okay, next up is Chuck Norris Super Kicks uh, or Super Kung Fu. I mean, yeah, change the name of it. I guess. So, but. Uh, I really wanted to like this. <laughs> um, the graphics look cool. Uh, the fact that you know you're you're going on this like map kind of thing, and you know you're trying to to fight the guys, but the controls on it were Are, just abysmal. I, I, it's a C title for me. I, I felt like it was, it could have been better that. The, the guys, the bad guys were too strong. It was just, they, you had they to get the perfect They were kicking you in the timing. teeth all the yeah, time. Yeah, it was just, you had and, to be perfect on the timing. And then and they'd throw a knife, on. shoot a gun, yeah. uh, launch a snowball at you, and you'd right. just be dead and have to start over. It just, I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I, I almost want to give it a D, but I'll also give it a C because it was... They, between the graphics and everything else, it wasn't the worst experience. And I did eventually, you know, upgrade my belt and whatever. Right. So, you know, there is a progression and it seems like there's an ending, which those are the kinds of things I can appreciate. Right. But uh, Chuck Norris, uh, just as a game, isn't very fun. The, the For me, it was the controls. The controls just killed the game. Uh, I mean, you didn't it's have one thing to have challenging. Either. It would be, it's one thing to have challenge, you know, that that's all great, but it was like unfair. It wasn't, it wasn't like, cause you get close. I didn't feel like just, I was overcoming you, anything. No, no, not really. Uh, Ghost Manor. Okay. Wow. Ah, so we, st a couple of these Zonox games actually had quite a bit going on. A lot. Yeah. Um, and this was the first one that we played that actually had a lot more going on. Chuck Norris had a little bit, you know, and granted, if we had played it longer. But to be honest, it was clear that it. all that it was, was you walk, right. go to a different screen, fight a guy. You yeah. walk, go to a different screen, fight a guy. There could have been. And don't walk further. in the grass. Yeah. don't. don't which don't. felt like an unnecessary penalty. Like, yes. just have us have a no option but to go up a right, path. Then. Right. So, Ghost Manor. Ah, this is at least an A for me. I I really liked Ghost Manor. Uh, you know, it's a little bit a little bit odd at the beginning because you don't know exactly what you're doing. When this you're figuring one, it out, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a little weird because you're like, it's a ghost. You immediately think that you want to run away from it. It's like, no, you actually want to you want to collect, you know, keep keep uh, hitting them or not hitting them, but just follow them around the screen. And I just 
I felt like that game would definitely, I, I would go back to that game because it, it just, uh, it just was cool. Uh, I'm not sure it's an S tier for me. I kind of reserve those for really, really, really good. But this is this is definitely one of the I, best ones of so far. I'd say it's just about an S tier for me, though. Yeah, I really like the multiple screens. Yes, it felt like you talked were, about that. But you were. Yeah. It also feels like you're playing multiple games, mm -hmm. as far as at least in comparison to a lot of these other 2600 games. Yeah, you know, playing tag with the ghost, you get spears for the mm. second part, which also yeah. helps you. You know, move through that quicker, easier to have extra points when you go into the mansion, the castle right. manor, manor castle, whatever. Ghost manor castle. Go Ghost manor castle. <laughs> Who named it that? Was it named that before? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit redundant. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to build ghost manor castle. Is it haunted? No, I haven't no. built it yet. Probably no. not. <laughs> but it just, it, it was really interesting and I wanted to play more. I, I was sad when we stopped playing. Yeah. Because there's so much going on yep. and you could play, we didn't figure out how to do it, but you know, there's the option to play as either the, the, uh, the different characters. Girl the, or boy or whatever. Yeah, the male or the female yeah, yeah. character. Yeah, and that was just, uh, I think, a difficulty. Oh, no, it's a color in black and white. I think. Yeah, I yeah, so yeah. the difficulty is you can yeah. play as anybody and yeah. have the same difficulty, and I really like that. Just all in all, a really fantastic experience that I just want more of. Mm -hmm. And I feel like once you get the hang of one, I w would love to go up in difficulty. Just a fun experience. All right. Next up. Motocross Racer. Ooh. This is one that could have been better. I'm trying to think of how it could have been better, though. It's... If it were a different game. <laughs> well, I mean, what was really wrong with it? I mean, it was... It not was, having a road was a little weird. It was me. too difficult. Yeah. Because the time starts immediately as you start, but your yeah. time, you know, like the, uh, the pace time, starts immediately. Right. And you are instantly behind it basically right. as soon as you start so you have to go fast right but the faster you go the more stuff you run into which because of the way the 2600 could render things it's kind of difficult to tell what is going to hit you and what isn't yeah. because there's no road there's no other landmarks to compare yeah. you against those other items it's really hard stuff to tell stuff comes to that's uh, too fast. It's really too fast, and it's really hard to tell whether or not they're going to hit you anyway. Right. So you dodge out of the way, and it's like, oh, actually, it was on this pixel of screen. So you're right. now you are going to hit it. Right. And the fact that it fully stops you instead of just slowing you down or something. Yeah. If you're going to blow up after five hits anyway, it might as well just slow you down instead. Right. Uh, I'm going to go with the C plus on that one. I I felt like it wasn't horrible but it just didn't grab me. I mean, you know, we didn't get to the second screen because we didn't finish the race fast In the enough, right time, yeah. Which was, that's kind of a, it was kind of a bummer, but um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was okay. Yeah, I guess I, I, I'm being a little harsh on it, but I, I really can't give it above a C. I, mm -hmm. I don't think it's D worthy because it worked, you know, it, and it gave you a sense of speed. Yeah. But it's a middle C at best. I definitely would play it over Chuck Norris. <laughs> God, yeah. Yes. But it just yes. wasn't anything after, right. or at least, especially because it's like, oh, we've got multiple screens, but it's really, really hard to get to the other screens. Right. Just yeah. abysmally difficult for no reason. Right. Like, it didn't need to be that way. If right. you're just trying to get it in time, having a road that slows you down if you're not on the road. Mm -hmm. And you would have ch changed nothing else but slow here, fast here, try and swerve that yeah. way. And I think this game would have been... Yeah, that's true. Infinitely better. Um, Robin Hood. Ooh, Robin Hood. There were some aspects of Robin Hood that I really liked. Um, there were some aspects that I really didn't like. Um, one, the uh, the graphics on it were great. The sprite, the sprite animation, everything was great. The uh, the biggest problem I think I had was the shooting uh, of shooting a guy, and then you had to make sure that you had the shot before him, otherwise you're dead because he could you see you. You really for... had to lead shots. Yeah. yeah, and it was the fact that you couldn't move after shooting. That's just a bummer for me. 
Um, that being said, I thought it was good from the aspect of having multiple screens. Um, I love that. You know, we've talked about that in the past. And again, it gives so much more. Probably. Yeah, and, and you actually have, you know, you, you have all these different screens. It seems like Xonox was really big on multiple screens. And that, I, I got to give them props for that because it was, you know, you could go through and it's like, oh, screen one, screen two, screen three. And they were really, really harping on that when looking at the manuals. Um, and, uh, but yeah, Robin Hood, there was just a couple things that... Uh, really kind of detracted for me, but otherwise I, I thought it was a good, very much good offering. I agree. It's it's a hair's breadth away from a B. Uh, honestly, the thing that keeps it from a B for me... You put it on B. <laughs> or uh, keep it, keeps it from an A, keeps yeah. it in B is yeah, what I was okay. trying to say. Keeps it in B for me is just that third stage where uh, uh, everything is, that you said I also mm -hmm. agree with. But once you get the hang of it, that first screen, we eventually started getting through that pretty mm -hmm. consistently right that second screen you only have to get six guys so it's right. also not that bad you know you, you get through those two and then you get into the third one and you can no longer shoot arrows you have to guess which of those three doors leads up and which yeah. of them just kills you by having yeah, a guy so how are you it. you can't you can't do anything against them right seemingly not ah. and so it's or at least nothing i could figure out right and so it's like it, it takes away what you have learned of how to play this game without yeah. making it really obvious what else you're supposed to do right like in ghost manner it's pretty straightforward when you get from, like, it's difficult to know right at first. You know, of course, you chase right. the ghost one way or the other, and you get the points, and then right. you shoot the spears. Right. And then the next time you get there, it's like, oh, okay, the more points I get here, the more spears I have here. Mm -hmm. Second time go around, not that bad. Um, but especially it being random by the time you get to the third one in Robin Hood. But uh, uh, anyway, in Ghost Manor, you are all of a sudden shooting but it, it's pretty clear, okay, I'm shooting up. There are things yeah. moving. I'll shoot at those things. Whereas in that third screen, it's like, what do I? What am I doing? Right, right. You get lost easy. And I just, it really lost points for me for that. Yeah, right. But overall, I think it was it was pretty ambitious what they were trying to do. Yeah, and, it has a and, teaser screen. And, yeah, uh, that was neat. It, it, um, it w felt very modern in a lot of ways, but yes. it just fell apart kind of yep. towards the end. Okay, next up, Lancelot. Sir Lancelot. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's an S tier for me. I, I thought it was really, really well made. Um, yes, there was kind of some cheapness when we got to the like the guy keeps shooting you, and it was it was really uh, hard when it happened. But it was a really cool game loop, and it seemed like you know we keep going, and it would show more and more different monsters and stuff. I I thought it was great. I mean, you know, the, the whole jousty kind of sc yeah. screen that was kind of neat. But you also um, have to hit them with your lair yes, this that's, time. Yes, that's it, it's it gives challenging. A, it, there's a layer of difficulty. I really liked the various enemies that you were fighting. You were yeah. fighting a different kind of dragon in the first screen every time. And one of the things that was interesting, too, is it ramps up in the yeah. difficulty. Because, like, at the beginning... You don't have to hit them with the lance. You can just be on top of them. But in the second one, in the third one, or whatever, you actually have to hit them with the lance. So it, it like kind of starts you off kind of the baby mode kind of gets you going. I really like that because we've played a lot of games where the, they don't do that. They just throw you in the deep end and it's like, good luck. They add a layer of complexity to each yeah. of the like little mobs at mm -hmm. first, the little dragons, each time. Yeah. The first set of dragons just goes in a circle. The second right. set of dragons, if you're on level with them, yeah. they will turn around to yeah. go at you. They will swarm you. Yeah. It's like some of like and the higher level the ones, The third right? one, they will like even change levels to yeah. be at you, but there can only be one per right. level still. Right. So it's this sort of... They, you you learn yeah. over time, and it, right. so none of them feel that much harder yeah. because it's like, oh, this makes sense. Mm -hmm. If they just did all of those things right at first, which is yeah. what a lot of these 2600 games do, yeah. it would be a bad game, I think. Yeah, it'd be too hard. But this really yeah. felt like, even with uh, getting stunlocked by the dragon in that top level, Felt like that was avoidable. Yeah. If you could have, you know, yep. gotten to it. Yep. The right the, way. The physics were kind of interesting too. You're like, okay, I'm just gonna go around just to get the the whatever person, like your girlfriend or whoever it is. The getting over to there, it's like, okay, you have to like time it just right, and it it had a lot going on, and I just I felt like they they just they did a really good job with it. 
Um, okay, so you really gave cool. it a, you gave it an S as well. Okay. I did because I I gotta I gotta give props to that. Yeah. That is a, a double S from a developer yeah, is also yeah. really rare. Yes, but I. Yeah, no, I I got to give it to him for yeah. for my tastes. Those were fun games. That's a sleeper for me. I'd never I never heard of ever played it before. So sure. Okay, next up, Spike's Peak. Okay, I don't know how to rank this because it seems like that we were missing something. I I, I don't I don't know what the heck was wrong. I am going to. I haven't ranked it yet. I know, but if oh. you're having trouble, I'll do it. I'll... Oh, okay, you're gonna rank it for me. <laughs> no, I. Uh... I don't know what we were missing. And a good game. That's what was missing for me. No, no. The, it's We were reading the, the instructions. It said you could go up or down and go into the, the Yeah, cave. and maybe, but both both of the emulation styles that we tried didn't seem to yeah. do it. So I just don't know if the game worked is part of the problem. Yeah, so I would give it a D. It I, I got to go a, with you on it. If, you know, definitely uh, let me know. You know, leave a comment if... We missed something in link Spike's us, Peak. Yeah, yeah, feel free to link us to yeah. someone who's played it and yeah. actually played we it. We can probably well. find it somewhere online. But sure, but tell, is, yeah. you know, show us. If yeah. you know, tell yeah. us about it. Because, because I, I feel like with graphics and everything, it was it was cool looking. It did look cool. Yeah, but it was like, well, what's the problem here? I don't I don't get... Also, those birds are like instant death. Yeah. If I, I don't know what the deal is. If you could go left and right. It wasn't really clear in the manual either. We looked no, up the manual. It, it didn't you could help. go up or down in the in the like the cave or the canyon or something, and it was kind of cool. It showed like the little eyeballs and stuff. It's yeah. like, oh, there's a monster in that cave or whatever. Don't there's go in there. There's a bear. Yeah, yeah, a bear. I just I was like, what are we doing wrong? And I felt like you know, you know, we could <laughs> we don't really go back and re rank, but um, that would be if it were more playable. I would say it's you know, worthy of a rewrite. But. Hey, and maybe maybe at the very end, we, there are definitely games we've gone yeah. back to. Maybe yeah. we will re-rank some things, sure. but maybe. To, <laughs> maybe. Uh, we hate new more content. Yeah. We hate the ability to. Do make you know how many we've had? <laughs> it's like number twenty-six we released last week or this week. That's all right. Yeah. There are a lot of 2600 games. There are. It out. <laughs> okay, Tomark the Barbarian. Ooh, ah, for me, this one is hard because I really like the concept of it, uh -huh. but the play, the the controls were rough. They were rough. I ah, uh, playability kind of trumps everything to me. I I kind of feel like uh, I'm gonna go a little higher than Robin Hood, uh, but it's still a B tier for me. The the jumping um, was pretty brutal. Um, the idea of having the to go to between the different screens, like when you said, "Oh, you got to go to the other screen to fight the bat or whatever," that was neat. Uh, but the the jumping it was so awkward. It I'm I I'm gonna I, yeah. I honestly the only thing that keeps this one out of D for me is that interesting concept and the fact that when you switch over to the person to the like sorcerer in uh, the cage or whatever mm -hmm. that it's at the very least that part works and is interesting and mm -hmm. i like the switching back and forth but everything else was a grind to the level that it was like painful nearly yeah. the the rats just don't they move slowly yeah. but because of the clunky controls they're constantly a threat mm -hmm. And they don't look like they're hurting you, and they just take a life. And honestly, if you stand there, they'll just take like four yep. right yep. in a row. Yep, they should disappear. If they, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah something. after a moment or yeah. give you some reprieve, yes. the jumping is the worst jumping I think I've ever experienced in a yes. video game. Yes, it was pretty bad. It, it's like, yep. wow. <laughs> it was, you know, you can figure it out, but it was clear that that was not their intention. Their intention was not for the d jumping to be so difficult that yeah. it made it impossible. They okay. were like, yeah, no, go get the sword and then go up and do the thing. But also, if you go all the way to the top, which is really easy to do by accident, apparently. You lose. You just drop all the way to the bottom again and it's like, start over. Because you didn't get the sword. And it's like the sword could be on any floor randomly. So you have to do the awkward jumping as much as possible. Yep. And it's just... 
it, it is incredible that that switching back and forth mechanic was nice and simple, and that the bat can you know the bat fighting controls were good because uh. straight up, otherwise this would be a D game. This is this is bad for me. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, so we're done with Xanox. Uh, uh, what's your thoughts on, on great, Xanox? Great company. I think yeah. they had a lot of really cool ideas and did a lot of things really well. I think a little bit more polish on some of these could have turned them into all B or above games for the most part. Yeah, I, I truly, uh, that's the thing. I think that all of these are fixable. Like if if someone said, oh, this, this jumping is too clunky, we got to fix that. Or the motocross racer is like, oh, we need a road or we need something. This is weird. Uh, no, um, one more layer of development. And yeah. I don't think I would have disliked any of these games, especially conceptually. I yeah. like all of them. Yes. yes. But uh, just the delivery on them mm, was very mixed. Yeah, but I, yeah. I'd still call them an overall a developer. Yeah. They, because their yeah. style was really cool. Yeah. I didn't mention this yet, but just because it's something that's been coming up a lot in these last few sets of games, mm -hmm. because they have mostly been coming out at the tail end. But all of the use of color in pretty much all oh, yeah. of these Xanox games was yeah. great. Yeah. Everything looked right. None yeah. of it felt like a blank void of nothing that I just happened to be playing. They didn't have any flashing either. Not really, no. I don't remember seeing any flashing. So. No, it all, yeah. it all just was smooth. It looked great. And there was just a couple of things that could have been better. Truly, the 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 uh, controls were one of the biggest things yep. that they ran into. If they into. could have just nailed that yep. in some of these. Anyway. So we're moving on to Kamavid. Kamavid. Okay. First one is Cakewalk. So this was pretty much like a tapper type game, I would say. Kind of in reverse? Yeah, kind of. And it really didn't seem like it had a whole lot going on. other Not than a lot of stop. cake on the yeah. bone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I order all my cakes boneless, so. Um. I, I think it's worth it to debone them yourself. Ah, uh, okay. You get a lot better flavor that way. Uh, okay. Um, for me, let's see. I think it's a, either a B or C for me. I mean, it seemed like it did what it set out to do, but the problem is it wasn't God, it wasn't great. hard also. Yeah. Though. It was, yeah, the, the, the difficulty level made it, one thing I will uh, give it, the animation of the guy sweeping up was pretty good. Yeah. It was funny if you got hit by the pitchfork guy that you fell to the floor and he just yeah. sweeps you up too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of morbid, but... I'm going to go mid-C for me. I, I thought it, it did what it was trying to do, but what it was trying to do was just kind of brutal. I mean... I'm going to go... Yeah. I'm going to go uh, definitely above Tomac, Tomar... Tomark. Tomark! That yeah. I was mixing them up yeah, yeah. there. I'm gonna put it just above that, but Okay. Mid C. Mid C because it isn't terrible. The the right. controls were decent. What you were doing was fine. But the if you can't freeze more than one at a time, mm -hmm. that game is just too hard at a lot of spots. Especially because the first level is almost harder than the later the second right. section because everything's coming so fast. Yep. And it's and then of course it's like, oh, avoid the pitchfork or what I don't even still know what that was. Is it a demon? I don't know. The the bakers on the other side yeah. were like, oh a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Send him down the line. Yeah. Toss him down. <laughs> They'll deal with it. Are they Italian now? <laughs> uh, all chefs are Italian oh, okay. in my mind sometimes. I don't know why. Okay. But uh, the the it just it didn't have quite the um Flair, either. Right, right. Um, Cosmic Swarm. Uh, I liked it, except for the controls. Um, I thought oh, the yes, idea this of was, it, the bugs coming down. You've got and your the little cubes. android ship, and yeah. they're laying out cubes. Cubes you cannot destroy, which yeah. is kind of interesting. And seemingly, I, I thought at first, maybe if you shot them before they dropped the cubes, there wouldn't be a cube, but that didn't seem to be the case. Yeah. It seemed that they would just drop the cube wherever they were when you killed them. Right. But the controls, bad. Yeah, it was really weird because you had to hold the button to be able to turn. It was very odd. I, I'm going to uh, put that lower than... Uh, than me. Okay. Lower Low than seat. Tomark, even. Just, okay. It felt really bad. 
Like it was, it was the kind of feeling where, it, it, this is odd to describe, because video game controls are so specific in a lot of ways. So describing how a game feels to play is sometimes difficult to wrap, you know, to, sure. but it, and all of the things that you're doing on a controller are all, are all generally the same. You know, you're pushing a button and moving a thing. It felt uncomfortable to move like that yeah. because in my brain what I was doing on the controller shouldn't have done what it was doing mm -hmm. to the ship yep. and it felt thusly like I was doing something wrong the whole time right. and my brain could never make that feel good Right. It's and almost like reverse controls when you're not expecting it. Yeah. And, it, and you're just like, like when they do it, like sometimes like a, a negative when it's left is right, right is left. Yeah. And you're just like you're fighting, your brain is fighting it the whole time. Yeah. Like when it yeah. gets inverted, except yep. it never uninverted. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, there was no yeah. option to change it back. Yep. Except it was worse than that because it, at least with that, you can get used to that, I feel, eventually. Because it also fired, it was like, fire and move, kind of fire, move, oh. Right. It was really easy to mess up with that, too, and move right. when you didn't mean to. Just, it, if it just had a second stick that would allow you to spin. Right. It would have been way better. But, yeah, just, I couldn't, couldn't play that again, I don't fair think. Fair enough, fair enough. Mine's Aminos. That was with the robot, right? Moving around the maze, I, I guess. believe so. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're walking around, you drop a bomb, and... Yeah. It can kill you accidentally. Oh, it can? Well, no. if, you, if you run into the bad guys before oh, they're sure, fully sure, dissolved. Sure. Which felt sort of weird. But yeah. It w and you have to collect treasure, bring it back, mm -hmm. then go up again. And those guys respawn. It looks like it was floating or flooding. Yeah, from yeah. the top. Yeah, which is interesting. Which is kind of a weird place to have it flood yeah, from. You were thinking from the bottom. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, it also would have introduced the concept a lot sooner. Yeah, you're because... like, say if you get up there going, whoa, what's going on? Yeah. Ah, eesh, eesh. yeah. I feel like they, they did pretty much what they wanted to do, but the problem is what they wanted to do was bad. Um, what they wanted to do was bad. Seriously, there's a couple things. It wasn't good. It yeah. wasn't a... It wasn't a the, Turning 90 degrees, you had to get just perfectly to line it up. There otherwise, you no wouldn't know. no smudge in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, the guys, as you said, respawn way too quickly. Um, the concept of leaving That's, a bomb for them was okay. Sure, but that again, that the problems start to compound. You can't go through them until they're way more dissolved. That's true. Meaning you can't get past their spawn point, which is sometimes... Because you had to keep going right, backwards. Yeah. You had to keep going backwards, backwards, backwards. Because you can't go through them at that no. point. Right. So they're dissolving. They're yeah. dead. And now you can move up. Then but they're guy already comes. respawning and yeah. you have to go back. Mm -hmm. And the maze was just not interconnected or good enough to come back around to it. Right. Like, uh, who, I know there were a couple other modes, but I don't think anything, ex I doubt that was much more than difficulty or maybe a slightly different maze layout, right. but. I'm going to give it mid C. I mean, I, I thought it was, it was kind of cool, but not, not anything to really hold my interest. Um, I'd play it over Chuck Norris, so I'll put it in yep. that area of yep. C. Yeah, I, I agree with that one. Yeah, Comavid not doing it for me so far. <laughs> a lot of their games just felt i don't know sticky somehow yeah. like they just nothing was feeling quite right about right. a lot of their games up to this point at least right room of doom so that one was of, of all the guys firing at you and they have a little window that opened and godzilla like, was there yeah yeah and he would walk yeah. towards you i thought that was actually a pretty fun game um it wasn't i mean it wasn't thrilling, but it was kind of, it was, the challenge was there. It wasn't overly hard. It just was a little tedious, it was I a guess. a little dry. Yeah. yeah. A little tedious, but it wasn't, the concept of the game was not bad. We get to, you, you finish beating all the guys, then you go to our next level, and then there's more guy, you know, different enemies and stuff. Kamavid yeah. continues their trend, though. Much like in the Minds of Minos, you shoot the Godzilla guy. And he's seemingly yeah. dead, but you can still die if you run into yeah. him at that point. And it's like, well, then kind of what's the point? Yeah, yeah, kind of. 
So uh, I'm going to give that one a high C, I think. Okay, fair enough. It just isn't quite there because of that for me. That it just, again, like you said, it's not bad, but it's dry. I don't yeah. really want to go back and play it again too much because it's just like yeah. a little bit of busy work kind of felt yeah. like. <laughs> busy work. There you go. You're just hanging out. Okay, shoot that guy. Okay, waiting. Oh, no, the window closed. Okay, let me try again. Yeah. Oh, like, oh no, the window. Oh, now the guy's here. Uh, yeah. uh, like a <laughs> one second delay on that window yeah. closing from the time yeah. they shoot would yeah. probably have changed my opinion of the <laughs> yeah. game a lot. But Right. I know they were trying to make it challenging, and that's fine. But it was just kind of seemed like it was, yeah, busy work is a great example of that. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily fun. You're just doing stuff. But again, that's that's the big thing is yep. not necessarily bad, but fun comes first when you're making a game, especially for the 2600. <laughs> exactly. Like nowadays, maybe fun is relative because it's like there's stories and there's yeah. this and that that you're also there for. Right. I'm not here for anything but yeah. a good exactly. time. Exactly. Rush hour. Okay, so this is a prototype, so I can't rate it too low. But to be honest, if they would dope, have, if they had finished it, it could have been an awesome game. I mean, shooting and like you know what they looked like—they were trying to have it be ro a rocket car kind of thing. Yeah, I you know you know it's like it wasn't done, but I really wish they had. I'm gonna give it a B. I actually even with all the like the weird stuff, I can't hold that against. No, them. no, I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. That game was going to be amazing. Yeah. That could have been one of the best games on the 2600 if they just finished it. Yeah. It was cool. You were you could go so fast. Yeah. yeah. And and also it didn't real you know it, it eventually it kind of did, mm -hmm. but it didn't punish you as much as some of these other yeah. games for going fast. Yeah. Like the Moto Motocross one. Yeah. It punished you kind of for going yeah. fast, which yeah. made it feel like, well, why am I even going fast? Yeah. yeah. But it still expected you to for the time limit. So right. It's, right. You know the controls and the goal are clashing. Right. That's not necessarily a good thing. Right. That's not difficulty, that's just friction. Yeah. And I don't need friction in, yeah. in these kinds of things. Yeah. But with this, there wasn't as much friction because, yeah, you could shoot and just a little bit of things like, you know, I'm sure eventually the wrecks would blow up or yeah, get out something. of your way. They did. They did eventually dissolve. So you, you could, yeah. You just so, couldn't run into them until they did. So. But also, you could go so fast, and it seemed like if you were going fast enough, you could bump things out of yeah. your way, was, and then you'd die cool. on a second hit yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. So it really felt like it was starting to incentivize me to go absolutely crazy with yeah. the speed, yeah. and it just looked pretty good too. Yeah. For it was really weird when it did a lot of the artifacts and like weird crap that showed up. Yeah. It was like. Okay, it's a prototype. Very not haunted, finished. Uh, yes, it was, to it it, was but. very, very odd there. But uh, okay. yeah, no, I, yeah. I absolutely <laughs> agree. That one was that one could have been great. Yeah, could have been a contender. Okay, uh, stronghold. This is with the comma, right? I think. Yeah. Do you shoot? The stronghold directions? doesn't make any sense as a title for it. But yeah, yeah, you can only shoot diagonally up, you know, left and right, up and down, yeah. and straight up, straight down. But then. All of a sudden, after you survive a certain number of ships passing by uh -huh. you, then breakout would, like, bars yeah, would come out, a boss bar. would show up, seemingly. Yeah. But then, uh, the thing that disappointed me a little bit is that part was really cool, and it made me kind of forgive the weirdness of not being able to shoot. Because mm -hmm. clearly, the point was to survive that part so you could... And right. diagonally and down is all you need when you're shooting at this boss. Sure. And that, so, you know, that was clearly the point. That makes mm -hmm. somewhat sense. But then the next level is just more of right. those guys. Right. And th nothing changes. It just right, gets right. harder. And I don't love it when things are like that. At least yeah. not in this style of game. Right. Uh, I'm going to give it a, a high C. I think um, it was decent. But I just, I feel like at this point, how many games we have seen that are like this as far as just shooting random things in space. It, it's kind of mind-numbing, to be honest. And this is another one where it there's not anything else interesting. Like, again, I was talking about Xanox doing a great job of having interesting backgrounds, interesting things. Mm -hmm. But this is a yet another game where I return to the dark void where games happen. <laughs> yeah. And it's all the Xanox games, I mean, with the exception of, like, Artillery Duel... They were all pretty honestly, original ideas. Yeah. I mean, well, motocross is a little odd, but but a lot of them are are pretty original ideas. So 
Uh, and that's that's also something you got to realize with a lot of these other games. Yeah, there's so many. It's just like okay, you make a ship. Okay, we're in space. Okay, you got to shoot at things. And it's just either yeah. blackness or a single yeah. color. Yeah. Even in Artillery Duel, where yeah. it was mostly a color, there were clouds passing yeah. by yeah. and stuff like that. And it felt at least like something was going oh, on. Another one that was interesting is they did randomized backgrounds, which yeah. was neat. Terra terrain. I terrain say. for. Uh, yeah. And we got that one that was like, I had a wall. Right there. I still I was able to hit you eventually, but it took a lot of work to get there. But it was like, okay, so when it was doing the thing, it was like randomizing. So they actually did have a little bit of, of things going on there. Um, but uh, yeah, I felt like they they uh, definitely were adding new ideas. Kamavid seems like, for the most part, mm, Cakewalk was kind of original, I guess. But There's just not a lot yeah. going on, though. So Kamavid, the last one here is Video Life, which is based off of the Conroy's Game of Life, which I I, I don't think you had seen no, before. No, but it... Um, it's not a game, though. So it's I don't a bacteria simulator, to... sort of? It's kind of neat, though. Micro Life. <sighs> Okay, this is kind of like this is where an NA would kind of fit, and that's it's not to a game. To an extent, yeah. But I think as a game, even still, for me, mm -hmm. it was at least interesting. It was interesting, and that's what I'm gonna. I'm giving it a B because it was definitely different than anything we've seen. Sure. And, to be honest, yeah, you know. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra grace and give okay. it a B as well, but only because. Remembering that we had the fast forward button turned yeah. it into one of the most interesting yeah, exactly. things. It's a little watch. hard on the actual hardware. You're like, it's literally a slideshow, <laughs> you know? So I, uh, uh, keep, keep, yeah, keep, yeah, yeah. But when you were able yeah. to do that, and I know that's not, you know, I'm grading with a little bit of a bonus yes, for it there. Exactly. But I'll give it that bonus. Yeah. I will give it that little bit of extra. Yeah. I, I agree. Um, you know, I, you could almost just use it as a netch sketch too, if you want to. You could just draw and stuff. Can't erase, but yeah, you can. Yeah, you just yeah, hold the whole screen, kind of like a netch sketch. Oh yeah. no, no, no! Because oh, if you, you go it. on a spot that has a dot, I you can remove press it, it and oh, okay. remove it. Okay. So you could draw with you yeah. could draw something and yeah. then watch it go crazy. Yeah, that would be, and those things are fun. Yeah. Even, so it's a creative process. Yeah, yeah a creative and, game kind of. And you know, so even though there's not as much of a goal. Just the, the programming behind it does make it fun. And yep. that you, you know, fun mm -hmm. is the goal. So, yeah, yeah. okay. So that's it for Comavid. Uh, what do we got here? It looks Super like, much a C developer. Yes. They, B and C. They had uh, no idea what they were doing for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some of them. <sighs> they had better and worse ideas. And again, there are ways to fix a lot of these games. But they just didn't necessarily need to be added to this expansive library that already has like all of these games. Kinda. Or at least you Except know, for Rush Hour. Except for Rush Hour that could and have been, video life. What's hilarious about that is the non-game and the prototype. Are the were two better. games that I actually want to play <laughs> or deal with. Again. Yeah, yeah, it's it's funny. Um okay. So last two, Zellers. Um okay, so the first one is challenge. That's the one with the duck. You're going oh, yeah, up in there or whatever it is. Looks like Snoopy kind of, but that one, we played it for quite a while, and actually. But, but that's, yeah, I don't know that that this is that a good, I felt like it was like, I don't know, we were trying. And I finally got, I got it, I beat it once, right? Didn't I? You beat the first level eventually, yeah. And I got not bad. That's what it spells on the yep. screen. It's like. Kind of rude. Kind of We don't know weird. if it spells other things later, but it's like But how would it just, spell Yeah, I don't I don't know what they were doing do with those good letters. later. I don't know. I don't know. It it was just Cause you just yeah. collect it. It was the same letters every time that we tried to go through it. We were yeah, getting to not uh, regularly, it's a, but it's a low C for me. It was <sighs> just tedious. I mean it, it was okay. But it was just... In the yeah. realm of tedium, it was a little bit better than the Minds of Minos. Yes. I'd play that one over the, the duck game, but the challenge The game. duck one was at the very least... I'm assuming it's a duck. That's what it looked like. It's maybe. a duck or a Yoshi or a creature. <laughs> yeah, some sort of a, creature. A dark and evil creature, and you're yeah. being hunted by amorphous pink stuff. Yeah. That kind of sometimes looked like maybe it was supposed to be a pig, but I could never tell. It kind of looked like a pig to me. Maybe because it's pink that we thought it was a pig. I have no idea. Yeah. The second ones looked like pink scorpions, so yeah. I really don't know. 
it was one where I feel like if you could get good at it, it could be fun, but it's not one that I would put enough, ever want to put enough no. time in to be good to make that fun. Yeah. So, horrible gonna, name, too. Challenge. That tells me nothing about the game. It's like game. <laughs> you know, did you play the game yet? Funny enough, we actually have a card game called The Game. Sure, but that's. Which is like. A horrible name. It's intentionally on the nose, though. Yeah. This is just them actually trying to name something. Or at least it seems likely because yeah. video games didn't really have enough. Because, you know, if a video game came out now called Challenge, I, I would have this innate feeling that there's something to it. Right. Because it's, you know, had all these years of video game history sure. to try and allure you with, why is that name so simple? Right, right. Okay, last one. Time warp. Um, so better box art than what we had during this. Yeah, story. not the fake dig <laughs> <Yeah>. dug <laughs> that box was art. Weird. Yeah. Um, this actually was had some neat stuff to it. Um, in that you know it's a kind of a defender like in that you know it's a horizontal shooter. I get, yeah, I but guess. The, but the blowing up of the bad guys, it was hard. That's one thing I will say. Um, it was really hard really, to shoot those guys. Really, really hard. But the thing that was neat is when you, you fought the last bad guy, it turned into the next bad guy. That was interesting. Which was, it was like it did one and then morphed into multiples of them. I, ah, for me, that's, it's going to be probably, uh, maybe, I'm going to go with a low B. I thought it, it had some promise. Um, yes, it's another shooter. Yeah. Um, the graphics look good. Um, no, no flashing or anything. Um, and, you know, the, the monsters look, you know, the, the enemies look good. Um, unfortunately, it kind of was only like three of them, four of them or something. Yeah, only like three or four variations, yeah, yeah. which was kind of lame. And it looked like there was some sort of boss or something that, that we didn't. But it's like, really hard to tell whether or yeah. not that was just random garble. Or an actual screen yeah, it that we were hinted. trying to get to. It seemed like it was hinting at However, a However, when they loop after only three, it yeah. doesn't really feel like yeah. you're getting to a boss level. And even when we read the description, all it said is that there were five enemies that cycle. Right. And we got through them. Right. And so it's like, is there really another one? Or was that just... I, I, I was uncertain. <laughs> Plain ass background. Way too difficult for no reason. Right. The one really cool thing that keeps it at the top of C for me is the morphing into the other things. The fact yeah. that the explosion sprite is the next sprite that you're going to fight. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool idea. Yeah. They just didn't do anything with it, though. Yeah. They didn't yeah. do enough with it to make it interesting to me yeah. beyond the initial like, oh, that's neat. So... Yeah. I I got to give that developer a C as well, it seems, because they just... <laughs> yeah. But damn, what a mixed bag this yeah. day was because <laughs> this is this is unconscionable. <laughs> a lot of very average games. Or here. I'd almost call them below Low average. average. Uh, yeah. And a lot of way, no, like, yeah. way above average games yeah. too. Yeah. Like I, I don't think I've had a double S in this no. series maybe once. Right. And it's like that. Division maybe or one of those. Maybe. Ones. Yeah. But... Not probably not even. Yeah. And it's like, wow. They that Xanox really brought this the average up on this whole Thankfully. thing. Yeah, it's good that we didn't have all like C tiers just like kind Yeah, of slot, it would have been <laughs> would have been a very different video if we were yeah. just ranking the second two companies. Yeah. But Xanox, I am honestly disappointed that there wasn't a little bit more from them. Yeah. I I just I look at some of those and just think, you know, the one of the things I always struggle with with a lot of these games is when there's just one little thing they could have changed to make it so one, much better. Yep. And, and it's just it's it's frustrating to me because it, it's like it's almost like okay, do you just need more playtesters? I feel that time? same way about ba some bad movies. Yeah. Or or there are movies where it's like ah, that's it's okay. I just didn't really care for it. But it's like, if they had changed one plot element, yeah. as strange as it sounds, everything in the movie would have yeah. been good at that point. It would yeah. have been... It's like I a, a felt keystone like, kind of thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a thing. One little one little thing could make a huge difference. At least in art. Yeah. You know, obviously yep. that's not necessarily the case with everything everywhere. Sure. But just with this kind of art, it's yeah. like, there's just a couple of little things that could really amplify its impact on me at the very least. Yep. 
But, all right. Well, I think that's all we have for today. Um, so anyway, so it's almost all we have in general for these twenty six hundred. Yeah, we only reviews. have three more uh, weeks I'm, of this. So. Yeah, and and maybe and let us know if that's something you're interested in. We have revisited some of these games, and sure. we may even revisit one or two more over sure. the course of right. these next couple of weeks. Yeah. If you want to see us go back and like yeah. re rank a couple of them. Anything that we've revisited, let us know yeah. because we'll make it we if you guys do are interested. A best of all the that's like, also true. Yeah. Like rank, rank the best of the best, the kind of A thing. and S tiers yeah. against each other. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a hard hard one. To that do. would be, but it'd be yeah. kind of fun. Now, one of the things also, uh, one other thing I want to mention, I mentioned this during the stream, but after we're done with these, we're going to be switching it up a little bit, and we're going to be going to Sundays. And we're going to do more of a variety show during our live streams. Um, so basically check that out. You know, definitely take a look. It's going to be in the uh, Sundays at noon Pacific time frame. Uh, I think that's 20, uh, you know, 20 or 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, GMT. Um, and yeah, so, you know, that could be a time when we could rank some of these things. Basically, it's going to be whatever we want to do at the time. We're not going to be as structured as this has been. Um, but I'm looking forward to that. I'm like seeing some of the games. I'm like, oh, I really want to show you this other game because it reminds me of something we're playing here. Sure. And yeah. it's like, oh, the, the, yeah. it'll be a little bit. Uh, it'll be a fun time. But yes, I am going to miss the 2600, although I will miss it in the sense of this has been a really interesting journey through the uh -huh. history of gaming. Uh -huh. And I feel like I have experienced a lot past this. Sure. Like I played on the NES and the SNES in my mm -hmm. life because sure. those were consoles that people still had mm -hmm. in their homes plugged sure. into a TV when I was young. Right. Like I, I saw people, you know, it oh, came yeah. out before I was born still, but right. like Mario, Super Mario World was the one that I still had friends who were like, oh yeah, we've got that at home. Let's play uh, it right now. Right. Which is, you know, obviously not really the case for a lot of people nowadays. Yeah. If I go around and try and find a SNES, it's a lot rarer than it was yeah. how 20 some years ago. But you're probably not going to have somebody that's going to have a 2600 it, plug. Not in. really. <laughs> and so this has been an interesting look at that first kind of branch of gaming. Well, another one I, to consider. Go yeah. ahead. Sorry. Oh, no. Uh, what I was going to say is, that uh, the thing is, they you would have seen the Atari titles, and you'd seen some uh, uh, Activision and Magic titles, right? But you wouldn't be seeing. But any there's of these. so many other yeah. games. A lot of them samey, but a lot yeah. of them not. A lot of them I yeah. can see where these eventually inspired other things potentially. Yes. Yeah, like there are definitely people who saw these, saw uh, some of these games, Xanoxes and the mm -hmm. various Magic games. And it inspired them in their game creation as much and more than some of the Atari and Activision sure. games, I bet, for some sure. people. Sure. So it's just really cool to have been able to go through this. Mm -hmm. And I'll miss it for that. Yeah. I will not miss this section of, of a lot of the videos that we've yeah. done. In yeah. which it's like, I you got to get through that to get to the really good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because you don't know what is and isn't going to be when you're That's this far true. removed from something. Like, I'm not going to find a Game Informer review for any of these games. No. No one has probably reviewed most of these games. Funny enough, they actually did. If you look at EGM, I think it was Electronic Gaming Monthly. Oh, okay. You actually will see reviews for things like Chuck Norris Superkick. Interesting. That's actually is one. That a, uh, yeah. Is that archived? Uh, I would, You know, it'd be nice if it were. I, I'm not sure if it, it is, but I remember being in a, uh, uh, a used bookstore. I remember seeing one of those. Oh, And I think it was Electronic Gaming or EGM, I don't remember which one it was, but I remember seeing that, and that's I had, I had never heard of Chuck Norris Super Kicks before. I'm like, oh, that looks really cool. I never got it, you know, back in the day or anything. Um, so it was always like this, oh, I wonder how that is kind of thing. So, right, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they did have magazine coverage. I think it was more towards the end of the 2600 era, but um, they did have some coverage, so you could be able to look. I don't think they got heavily into the rankings like they do, you know, further as, as we got further on. Sure, you know? sure. But, but there uh, was a review yeah. of these. Yes, but they, even they still, there's definitely some that there may be no reviews online for yeah, some um, of these. So it's, it's interesting to have been able to experience that firsthand. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited to move on from them. Uh, yep. both in my life in general and in whatever series <laughs> right. we end up doing. Right. But it was, it has been and continues to be a pretty cool journey. Mm -hmm. uh, especially because even here at the end, all, all the way down at the very bottom of uh, this very large yep. barrel, 
we're still finding S rank games, and yeah. that surprises me. Yeah, it's cool. I I am very happy that we're finding some of those because, to be honest, some of them I kind of had written off. You know, a lot of them just because it was like, oh, the graphics are horrible, blah 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 blah. You know, all the reasons. I had already moved on after after a while. Right. And to see some of these, they're like, wow, this is actually really cool, and it is neat to me. Um, you know, because yeah, I had already yeah you know, heard and seen seen these games, but. I didn't give them the time of day just because of when they came out. And now we get to do that finally. Yep. And some of them, obviously, we're not going to play again. <laughs> and not. others, we yeah. we definitely might again one yeah. day. All righty, guys. Well, that's all we have. So see you in the next adventure. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I post new videos all the time and I wouldn't want you to miss any. If you'd like to see more of this series, be sure to click up here. And if you'd like to see something else, be sure to click up here.